I'm with Dr. Peter Kim, Vice President, Co-Lead Investigator of the Children's National Hospital, Washington, D.C. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. What are you addressing this year at the World Healthcare Congress Middle East? We are having a specific session to address chronic illness in children. It sounds somewhat strange to talk about chronic illness in children, but uh, such things as obesity, diabetes, and asthma, these are really a worldwide problem, and I think this is particularly relevant to children in this region of the, of the world. Why is an event like this important? Um, the, the event as in the, the Congress like this allows uh, really the thought leaders in the world to get together and from both policy and, and as well as specifically at a clinical level to talk about how we can really fundamentally change uh, some of the critical issues that we face in, in healthcare, particularly in children. And it is clear that a lot of adult diseases these days uh, originate from childhood. Uh, these are uh, whether it be high blood pressure, obesity, sugar problems as in diabetes and or asthma uh, due to pollution and all these things so it's really an important forum where we can not only exchange ideas but educate but also learn from each other. Is it about prevention in these cases or adequate health uh, care and uh, facility? All of the above as in often times in health care even though we say it's a health care it's essentially a disease care so this is an opportunity for us to really think about as you pointed out, things like prevention as in really focus on health of the population, health of children. Obviously, it's the health for the whole society as a whole for the future. And probably awareness of such diseases. Absolutely. It's very, very important that the health starts from home, everything, everyday activities we do. And, and fundamentally, we often think, because a lot of us don't use healthcare facilities until we're actually ill, but it's really an important issue, everyday issue, and, and it's, it's an important issue for, for the nation as a whole. It's really not taken for granted that it's really, a, if you will, a national security issue. Because to be competitive, the whole population has to be healthy. That's great. Um, and what are some of the challenges your organization is facing in healthcare? As with the, the, all the other organizations in the world, and we obviously are faced with resource issues, uh, we're faced with the organizing how to deliver more effective care, how to deliver care more efficiently. And obviously these are all you know, competing areas. Even though we all say children are our future, when it comes to real issues, children don't get their fair shake because they don't vote. So uh, it's, it's important that we continue to advocate for children. Is human capital an issue? Because that's very common as well. It is, as in everywhere, uh, the, the, the thought leaders who really make differences are uh, uh, hard to find. And then obviously in this particular region, I think uh, it's not only there is a, a shortage of it, but I think to come up with a, an, a, really a solution that will make it sustainable, uh, provide a very sort of a long-term, sustainable, healthy, effective sort of a, a support, I think that's a critical issue. What are some of the innovations your organization is bringing to healthcare? We're doing it from many different aspects, from a basic science, from a, if you will, bench to bedside, uh, both in terms of uh, coming up with a newer ways, new method of treating, uh, using more effective way, using, for instance, a social network, for instance, to communicate, diagnose, and exchange ideas. Uh, we have Sheikhzaid Institute in Washington, D.C., which started with a gift from the people of Abu Dhabi to Children's National in Washington, D.C. We're focused on developing next generation, for instance, of technology so that we can now treat things more effectively and efficiently. What do you hope to learn or teach from this conference? Uh, I think this is a, a, sort of a, a forum to really exchange, learn from each other. So it's not merely sort of a conveying information, but to have an opportunity to share some of the, the problems. I think that, you know, first place to start is to have a, an effective and clear communication. And from then on, we can develop sort of relationships and networking and then have develop more effective partnerships to execute some of these things. Dr. Peter Kim, thank you very much. And we're looking forward to uh, your presentation this afternoon. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you for having me.